Well, here she is, and she's going to know something's different because she's going to, well, maybe not. I thought maybe she would hear me talking and think, who is she talking to? And oh my goodness, I would say our bonus room sort of kind of looks like uh, the Grandies are here, which they're not. It's just, we've got all the toys out for Sophie. She has a few left downstairs. And when she is up here, someone's always up here with her because this is all carpet. We want no accidents on the carpet. And boy, am I some kind of tired. Um, the training part, the potty training to go potty outside, it can be quite, uh, draining but it's always going to be well worth it in the end once they get completely house trained and know when their potty needs to go outside a couple of times she has whined and told us well more than a couple but several times she's whined and told us and she'll stand at the gate why is the kitty's gate there because if she's too close to the steps and she's playing with one of her toys slinging it back and forth um we didn't want to see her take a tumble down the steps so um when she gets bigger of course probably within this next week i'll be uh, moving that and that's also so she can't go just darting down the steps without me with or her her come flying up those steps up here by herself before someone can get up here with her again we don't want her up here by herself with this all being carpeted and we just have a extra bowl of water in the um bonus room bathroom as well as about a cup and a half her food i keep in there and then i keep a cup and a half downstairs in the kitchen in uh, her feeding bowl as well as she has water downstairs in her um, water bowl that we keep downstairs so i just like to keep that up here and one downstairs and she's cut way back on her eating already the first day or so we had her she gobbled that food up but she is coming from a very active home as well as uh, I think it was six dogs total with her and her sister. I think that made six. Yeah, maybe. And then they just got a new Great Dane. So maybe that was seven dogs. See, Red, her mom, Jake, her dad, her sister, herself, uh, Tucker, and then, who am I missing? Maybe it was just six. And then the new dog, Sabo. So I think it's six. So anyway, I guess she feels like she doesn't have to compete to eat with the other dog. So now she knows she can just take her time and eat it when she feels like eating. And I have and pretty much always free fed my dogs until Abella was diagnosed with diabetes. And then her being insulin dependent um, and on prescribed dog food. While they're very smart, a Brit, while she's a very smart breed, a blue healer, her mama's red, her daddy's blue. While they have, uh, we've been told by her vet here in Tennessee, she's already gone to her vet and she's dreaming. She's over there running. Um, we have been told while she is very smart, she also, or this breed can also be very stubborn. So Sophie girl is home and look at her running in her sleep. She snores too. And she'll actually start barking. You know, with her mouth closed, you can tell she's trying to bark. And she gets the hiccups all the time. Her vet also said that, she, well, she was very surprised to see her come in already on a lead. She said, that age puppy, that's very unusual. She was very surprised. She was already on a lead and doing so exceptionally well. She already knows what it means when I say, let's go back in the house. She knows that means come back up the stairs and let's go in. She gets treated for that. Positive reinforcement. It's a positive reward. A little treat yes she's starting to learn that those words and she knows to sit say what are you doing putting that in my face what's you doing honey are you just resting are you just 
just resting on me. Are you just resting? She loves her tummy to be rubbed. She loves her tummy to be rubbed. Are you just resting? She's got a little red place or like a rash like on her tummy in the vet. So that's very common. Uh, puppies have that. And if it doesn't get better or gets worse, then they'll give us some kind of medication um, to help that heal up. That's why we wanted to go ahead and uh, get her in, start getting that done. Um, so she will be used to being handled by other people. And another thing, I've always been taught to handle their paws. So um, when they start getting their little um, nails trimmed, that they wouldn't have too much of an issue with um, getting their nails trimmed. So we've already been playing with their feet. Matter of fact, I asked my daughter to have um, the kids to handle her feet a lot. And you can see she doesn't mind it, doesn't mind it at all. So, because sometimes if they're not used to their feet being played with, and then when you uh, go to have their nails trimmed, um, they may think that you're uh, trying to abuse them. That would be one tip if you're looking into getting a new puppy of any kind, any breed, any size, any make, any model. Uh, handle those paws often. Start just as soon as you get that puppy playing with those feet. I just like to just either get down the ground outside on her level and play with her or get down here in the floor and I just play with her. And her ears just stood up a couple days before we picked her up. They were all floppy and boy are they some ears. <laughs> but they're really turning dark too. But she is what is called the blue healer. And um I think she's actually her the spots I think they've actually started um, getting more blue I think the blues kind of spreading out she'll probably still stay spotted like that because her daddy's spotted but I think a lot of that starting to blend together that's just kind of what I've noticed but she is just absolutely precious y'all so precious and she's not favoring me over Ken or Ken over me. She seems to be. Um, what do I say? Bonding with both of us. Ken takes her out through the night for me. So that's probably helping a lot with the bonding. Because I'm the one that's feeding her. Uh, walking her. Taking her out during the day. Playing with her. Uh, I'm with her the majority of the time. But I think Ken taking her out at night. I think that's helping with the bonding too because it's scary out there at night and um, she is and was a little nervous going out in the black there and I think she's realizing that he's going to make sure that nothing's going to um, hurt her so I think that helps too with the bonding. But if you have uh, big dogs in your home or if you've had big dogs in your home uh, especially if you've had healers or you do have a healer any tips advice thoughts experience uh, wisdom knowledge you can share with me please i would love for any anything that you think that would help her and help us to better help her anything um, please feel free to share i um I would love it. I would just absolutely love it. And I would be ex extremely grateful for any tips, thoughts, experience, wisdom, and knowledge about healers that you could share or big dogs.